Hi, I'm Robert from DAT Freight and Analytics, here to show you how to get the most from DAT1, the single source for all things freight. Beyond showing you how DAT1 works, I'm going to show you why it was designed with the paradigm shifting features it includes and why it puts you in the driver's seat right where you belong. Just a quick note that I'm going to be using DAT1 Mobile, but we have a separate video that shows you how to do all of this right from your laptop or desktop computer as well. The best way to put yourself in control is to post your truck on DAT1. This gives you the opportunity to stand out amongst all the other carriers. Brokers are constantly on the lookout for suitable trucks to fulfill their shipping needs. And if they're reaching out to you, you're in the driver's seat of that negotiation. The first time you go into the My Trucks tab on the DAT1 mobile app, you'll want to add your truck. This allows you to add all the really important information about your truck that really doesn't change that often. This makes it much easier and faster, so you don't have to fill out this every single time. In this case, I'm gonna name it Robert's truck. If you have multiple trucks, you could enter each. That way, again, it makes it much easier for you to either search by a specific truck or post a specific truck. So I do have a van, it's gonna be full most of the time, and it's a 53 foot. Then I can hold 40,000 pounds, save that. As you can see right in the top, it's Robert's truck and all the information about it is already populated. Now you can enter in an origin and destination. Make sure you're always enter an area to which you're willing to go for the right amount of money. For example, Southern Florida at certain times of the year might not be the best place to go. And so not every carrier is gonna to want to go there. But if a broker sees that you're willing to go there, definitely enter that. If you have a specific city that you wanna to go to, enter that as well but I like to use the States and Regions tab. You can enter in as many states as you want or very quickly choose the different regions. In this case, I wanna stay on the West Coast, so I'm gonna say Zone 9, which is the first digit of the region's zip codes. Next, we wanna enter a rate. This is a great opportunity for you to stand out and it will save time on calls that go nowhere. By posting your truck on DAT1, you won't have to ask the broker if you're going to be in the same ballpark on the rate. So I'm gonna enter in my starting rate here, but obviously this can change depending on the load. Next, choose your contact information for how you'd prefer for the broker to reach out to you. The comment section is another great way for you to stand out. You can specify the time the truck is available or add any specifications or certifications you might have. Next, you can choose how long you want to make your truck available. DAT1 will automatically take down your truck post on the end date, but you might wanna refresh it to stay at the top once the broker tells you the exact pickup and drop off locations, enter it into the quick rate lookup tool to see what current market rates are going for. You'll also see the range of rates paid on that lane. We've got the origin and destination, so we'll click and go with the same areas. As you can see, because I created my posting, it automatically has my truck information here. We have the start and end date. The maximum post age is useful. Basically, that tells DAT1 how far back to look only want to see loads posted in the past eight hours, enter it here. It can go all the way up to 99 hours. Most people stick with 24 hours. We do have new filters that are available, so you can set a filter to only show loads that are factorable or set it up to only show loads from preferred brokers and hide companies you've blocked. This gives you the option to set a tight filter to only see specific loads. Personally, I like to cast a wide net and see how many results are out there and then start to narrow it down. For this search, we can look at a couple different loads here. This shows that this load is bookable right now. That's great. I can dig into the details to see if this is a load that I actually want. In the top section, you can see a map with truck specific miles. You can zoom in and see what specific freeways or highways are specific to this route. With DAT1, you can easily see where the origin and destination are in comparison to major cities in case you've not picked up in that location before. You can see what the average rate paid on this lane has been for the last 15 to 30 days. How old the load post is. You can call the broker or this load specifically is bookable right from here. We'll get to more than that in just a second. Another big advantage when choosing the best load is the profit estimator. With this tool, you will enter your business costs and goals and the tool automatically shows you an estimate of how profitable a load will be just for you. Enter how many miles you average per week how much you pay in fixed costs, and how much you want to pay yourself as the driver. The more info you enter, the more accurate it will be. 
One thing to note is that DAT will never share your specific data with anyone. This is really just a tool for carriers to help understand whether or not a load is profitable. So here, I've already filled that out, and so you can see an all-in rate for what your operating cost for that specific lane would be, your fuel cost, and whether or not that lane specifically would be profitable for you as a carrier. So for this load, we can see the details about the equipment needed and any other pertinent information. If the broker posted a rate, we'll break that down to the average estimate per mile based off the total rate. We'll also show you the average spot rate other carriers have gotten paid on that lane. Then there's the info that allows you to vet that specific broker, their credit score, days to pay, and anything else you need to know about who you're doing business with. You can also see if that broker has been pre-approved for factoring through our partner, OTR. So you can get paid within 24 hours should you choose to go that route. One of the last things to call out is company reviews. This is where you can find out if any other carriers have had issues with that specific broker. One thing to note, don't always take a low star rating as a meaning that it is a bad broker to work with. It all depends on what the reviews were about. All right, so after I've done all of my research, I feel good about this load and I wanna book it. For this load, all I gotta do is tap book load. It's that simple. If there are any other loads that you're interested in, but maybe aren't ready to call about, or maybe you're waiting for a response from the broker, you can save those to come back to later in the loads tab. So after you've found the right load and booked it right in the app, one of the next steps is the broker may ask for tracking. You can do that right from the DAT1 app, which makes things super simple on your end. You'll get a tracking request as a text message, and the link will bring you straight into the app. On the My Load screen, you can see the actual request and details, which you can either accept or decline. If you decline, the broker will be notified. If you accept, your mobile device will begin tracking during the scheduled trip and update your location every 15 minutes. You don't have to do a thing. This lets the shipper know where their freight is so you won't have to get check calls. You just have to leave the app running in the background. That's not a bad thing though, since the map tab gives you plenty of great trip planning tools as well. You can find fuel, parking, nearby services, if you have a breakdown and much more. You can set it up to automatically route you to a service station. You can see the location for weigh scales, truck washes, locksmiths, tires, repairs, and towing pallets, truck dealers, truck stops, you name it. The Take Me Here feature will also give you map directions based on your truck size and dimensions, so you can avoid roads where an overpass might be too low, which is super handy. Once you're close to your destination, just post your truck again, and you can start the whole cycle over. That's just scratching the surface of everything you can do with that one, the only app you need to run your trucking business.